Excuse me, sir. Do you change for five? Sure. I'm uh, not alone. You're here.
Frankie. She's pretty, isn't she? Lich. Yo, Nick! My baby. Be my baloo. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Rain from heaven! Oh. 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 How's the night? Not bad. Hey, there you are. First day in a new school. You ready for it? I always. I guess. You better get going. It's getting late. Sleep well, Dad. Okay.
Oh, Miss Wright. Morning, Howard. Listen, my mother said it was okay for me to stay out of biology class today on account of my sinus condition. You know, all those chemicals kind of makes me sick. Then have your mother take the class. Well, but we have to have someone sitting in your chair. But you... You'll be late for class, Howard. Oh, man. Hey, Ben. Mmm, Mama. What's up? Not much. How you doing? Good. What's his story? Who cares? His ass is grass now. Here, let me have your blade. You'll never use it. Come on, maybe I want to clean my teeth, all right? Let me have it. Be careful. Hello? Hello. Hello. Come into my office. Later. You mind taking those off? I'd like to see who I'm talking to. Shakespeare, huh? Uh, yeah. Actually, I don't know why I'm surprised. Your records show a good aptitude for reading and writing. Going to do anything with it? <laughs> Excuse me? <clears throat> I don't know. Look, Morgan, you've had a good education at one of the best prep schools in this country. And if you chose to throw it away, well, Luckily, that's no concern of mine at this point. What is my concern is your present attitude, which is my way of saying that I won't tolerate any of your past bullshit, including your rooftop rock concerts in between the classes. You see, I have a lot of trouble dealing with the real losers here at Lawson. I don't want to waste a lot of energy with a good imitation. Yes, sir. All right, you better hustle out of here before you miss your first class. And so the original <coughs> pioneers settled the territory, building towns on the lands they claimed. But there were men who lived outside the law, men who took away the things the settlers had worked so hard to build. The settlers themselves were no match for these outlaws, and so a new breed was born. Known as the gunfighters, they brought a new code of honor and justice to the Old West. A code written in their blood and the blood of the outlaws they faced. Fat Masterson, Quiet Earth, oh. and was one of the men made missing by their oh. blood, code of justice in a land that had none. Whoa, state of the art. Class, that's enough. No Ed, will you please watch the film and pay attention? More tragic. <laughs> It raged with such <laughs> and almost every principal was killed. Yo, I'm sorry, man. I never had that in my pocket before. Yeah, yeah well, why don't you learn how to use it before you cut your balls off? No settler could remain for those days without taking sides. A man had problems, Jimmy? No. Uh, no problems. The only other course was to move out swiftly and inconspicuously. Get the damn thing closed. <laughs> Looking back, one is struck by the fact that even those specific crimes are frequently forgotten. The romantic pageantry remains. Here, you can need it. Well, why? why? Take it. It's all in the school about you and Nick Hauser. That's one may not be able to name the place or time. Something important, Mr. Parker. <laughs> yeah, I was telling I was telling Morgan about this book I read. Yeah. Call of the Wild. And um what was your reaction to this once-in-a-lifetime experience? Didn't get it. But I like the dog. History books are filled with stories about lambs bought and paid for with the blood of the men and women who claimed them. When someone took a stand, they very often paid with their life, whether outlaw or gunfighter. The cost was always high, and many lives were given by those who shaped our beloved country during this turbulent and historic era. What's up, man? 
Like music? Uh, yeah, I like music. Yeah? Yeah. Want to come see my band tonight? Sure. Where? <laughs> Go down here, down this main drag, right? Past all these sleazy porno shops. Okay. It's on the left-hand side, campus. Porno shops? Mm-hmm. I'll be there. Good. I know, it's a story. Be All right, let's get this thing rolling. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, you just missed This must be recess, right? Mm-hmm. Great. Morgan, yo, where you are? Listen, man, you're heading towards the truck. That's Nick Hauser. They're playing with my bike. Yo, man, I'm just trying to save the bike. Hey, don't mess with the break your legs. Should I give his bike back here? Make him pay. Should I give him his bike back? Woo! So should I give him his bike back?
Hey, I'm sorry, man. I guess training was over. Hey, he said he was sorry. Life's a bitch, pal. Stay. Okay. What happened to your bike? Nothing. Nothing? Your bike is in pieces and you tell me nothing happened. All right, Morgan. If it's starting all over it's again... It's not starting again, okay? It was an accident. All right? No, it's not all right. Who's going to pay for that? Huh? Did you at least find out if they have any insurance? Insurance? This isn't Connecticut. No one has insurance around here. Oh, now they don't even have insurance. That's wonderful. Hey, 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 what's going on? <sighs> That's what I'm trying to find out. It seems that we had a little accident with Morgan's bike. Oh, boy. Can you fix it? Yeah, as soon as I learn how to walk on water, I'll get right on it. Don't you take that tone of voice with your father, young man. That bike cost $500. Oh, shit. Morgan. All right, you handle this. I don't want anything more to do with it. What the hell am I supposed to say to that? You know, I've been at this thing for two hours. You might be a little more understanding of her. Well, Dad, you know, I've been working on that my whole life. Tales from the Crypt. Thank you.
chest. So where's he from? Connecticut. Connecticut? What do you do for fun back there? <laughs> Met at the yacht club every Sunday. Is he serious? Never, as far as I can tell. I was, actually. Have a good set. All right. Excuse me. Tell me what your name is. My business. to be good friends, huh?
wrong with this guy? What's wrong with you? I said just ice your ass right now. Yeah? Yeah. Why, because I danced with one of your boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny stuff. <laughs> you owe me. What are those keys? Huh? Oh. You like that, don't you? It's a little payment for services rendered. Oh, yeah. If I ever catch you near Frankie again, I'll take you out so fast you won't even have time to spit. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me, man. Remember this, maricón. I feel better in the morning. Did it, man. This is a bad car, Nick. You should have done this a long time ago. Yo, 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 man. This is like in a movie. Serious. Glad you can make it. They took your car. I don't own a car, man. <laughs> shit! Oh, shit, Nick Ruby! Go, man! He's right behind us, Nick! What are you gonna say? Take me in front of you, man. Uh, shit, take this, man. Can you really see? Can you really see? Shit, shit. The first place he's gonna check, man. Nick, what are you going to tell me? Shut up. You look smart, Frankie. You know, you may be smart, Ella. But you're dead meat when Nick gets out of jail. Well, you know, Frankie, I thought you were going with such a nice, respectable guy. Yeah? Bye. in front of the review board. Now, Mom, I am talking about the entire review board. Shaking, <laughs> shaking like a bloody idiot. I mean, at one point, I, I was shaking so bad, I was going to rattle right off the platform. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you still finished fourth in your class. Wait and see. In no time, you're going to be the best lawyer in the country. Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, hey, hey, golden boy, how you doing? Well, all right, how are you? Okay. You in for the weekend? More or less. Can I borrow your car tonight? Um, I don't, I don't know, Morgan. I mean, I was thinking of taking Mom out to a movie, you know, till Dad gets home. Well, I won't be gone long, Brian. Well, I know that. And under any other circumstance, I'd let you have that car in a shot. Forget it. Oh, Morgan. I'll take care of this. Morgan. Morgan, will you just cool out? Give Mom a break? Just as soon as she gives me one. She already has. And look what you've done with it. What do you mean by that, Brian? I mean, you cause trouble wherever you go. The mother and dad have spent a fortune in trying to keep you in decent schools, and all you can do is screw up. Brian, I'm real sorry. But you know, I never wanted to go to any of those goddamn schools in the first place.
Get next car, man. This bro called my bro. Want him to come pick it up, but he wasn't home. So here I am. Your pants are still dry. It's... Hmm. Here, let me give you a ride. I think I'd like to drive. Don't you trust my driving expertise? Right. Yeah, but it's always been like that, you know? I mean, if I didn't follow my big brother Brian's lead, I was invisible. Yeah. It's the same with my family, you know, except my mom wouldn't let me join a gang because Donnie got his ass kicked so bad. So she just outlawed it. Yeah, what happens if you break tradition? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I think this is one of Nick's favorites. Nowhere. You went to one of those brain factories back east, and I mean, the guy's head is totally ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with bullshit. What's the matter with her? She's pining because Nick's still in the cooler. You know how she gets when she isn't getting any? Yeah, well, if you ask me, she's got the hots for you know who. I saw the way she was dancing with him the other night. Body heat on contact. And I mean, sizzling. Let's go, Ron. I think the air's getting a little thick around here. Right, I'm not finished yet. Oh? You are now. <laughs> hey, 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 forget it, man. She's bad news. Come on. I just want to hey, talk to her, Nick. Man. She belongs to Nick. Come on, Jimmy. Lincoln freed the slaves. Ooh. All I want to do is talk to her. All I want to do is live. Hey, Nick's out. Come on. Get the back, Jimmy. No. Get the back. Jimmy. Get the back. Get the back. Hello. You. <laughs> Thank you, God. What do you do when opposites attract? What do you do? When opposites attract, what do you do when opposites attract? What do you do? You know, Frankie, all I want to do is talk to you. I just spent the last 20 minutes telling you I got nothing to say to you. You got it? Then let me out. Let her out. I just want to work this out. I, I just want to talk to you, you know? Get out, Frankie. Go for it! Go for it? We got nothing to go for. Look, you blew it, and now you have to pay. Come on, Frankie. Come on, you don't mean that. Uh, yes, she does. No, she does. Just you stay, stay out of... Right. right. Nice smile. Thanks. 
It still doesn't change nothing between us. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I got a smile. I figure if I wait long enough, maybe I can... Get lucky? So long as your breath, will you? <laughs> are all the same. I suppose they won't mind if I don't wear my furs. No, come on, just straighten up your clothes, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, do up your shirt, and I'll handle the rest. Come on. Am I completely hopeless? No, oh, of course not. You just don't say anything but fabulous unless they put a gun to your head. Why? Because okay? you just got in from Europe, and you don't know how to say anything else. Okay. All right? <laughs> yeah, put it on. Come on, Frank. Come on, come on. Here, put that on. So heavy, Morgan. Here, hold this thing. Fix it. Uh, that looks good. What's that? No thanks. Oh come on. No. All right, fine. Put these on. Do I look okay? Perfect. Come on, let's go. go. Look bored, will you? Oh, that won't be hard for Frankie. She's always bored. This is only good for about 20 minutes, so eat fast. Come on. Twist and shout, you got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby now. Come on, let's work it out. Work it out. Patty! Alan? Haven't seen him in years. How are you, anyway? Come on, Frankie. Fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Young man, young man. I need to see your room. Membership card, please. Oh, God, Reynolds, I'm glad it's you. I feel such the fool. You know, I left it down in my locker with my tennis rag. Still stuck with a racket. I'm sure Patty and Alan will vouch for us. So. Love your suit. Oh, God. You know what to do. Hey. But he's staring at me. Uh, yes, they are. Well, what's happening here now is, you see, the girls are wondering where they've seen you before. The guys are wondering why the hell they haven't. Chuck wagon, Chucky wagon. Mm, I like that. I was walking by and I just saw this beautiful aura coming up over both of you. I just wanted to come by and kind of share that. This is a great shirt. Can you believe this place? There's not a zit in the house. You don't kind of look like a Gary. Can I call you Gary? Oh, you mean Frankie? <laughs> can't believe you guys don't know her. You know, you mix the wrong things. It's just really not going to come together and you're going to wind up launching your lunch all over the damn place. Can you help me here? All right. In from Europe for two weeks. Very high concept, guys. Don't let them fool you. Course size matters. This is the eighties. Anyway, what I'm just saying is just watch what you eat. You know what I mean? Well, the crack crab is to die for. I mean, the dill sauce is what makes it. I'm, I'm not talking about size in bed. We're all the same size in bed. Right. Good 
good evening. Does your word phrase beautiful, beautiful hair mean anything to you? It's got a certain je ne sais quoi I can't quite figure out. I think it's the sherry, but I'm not sure. I'm dying to find out. This isn't a fashion statement. It's a sweater. She had the most gorgeous boyfriend. He was incredible, mm. stunning. Mm -hmm. But did you ever see those little cocktail wieners? You, you know the ones I'm talking about, the real mm -hmm. little tiny ones? Mm. Of course, the finger sandwiches. You know, you can never go wrong with them. I figure, you know, if I'm having a party, small party, 25, 30 people, you know, you get the watercress, slice the purple onion very thin, touch of butter, cut the crust off the bread, you know, and you got it made. We are working currently with Barry Manuel. You know, I know Barry. Betty with it. And you know, you figure you're gonna wrap it up in wax paper, toss it in the fridge, you got it the next day for brunch with bodies. Well, and first I gagged. But after a while, it was really easy. You guys swallow, don't you? Uh, my favorite part. Uh... I'd like to say in all sincerity, this is the most fun I've ever had in my life. You're a fantastic crowd. I'm having a terrific... That couple over there, I bet you came in a BMW tonight, didn't you? I came in a BMW once. Come on! Ronnie, what is this? Who cares? You eat it. You'll never see it again. I'm not gonna eat it. You eat it. No, no. Jimmy, give me some... Oh, no. Put it in your bag and head towards the door. Can you sing? No. Okay, just sit on the piano and look pretty. We're going to entertain you while they do. I feel the thunder. I feel the pain. I know the struggles you keep. The nights in the Not now, nor were you ever members of this club. Well, how about that, Frankie? Come on. You 
know. I feel like we're a million miles away from home. Oh, that's just the other side of the hill. Yeah. What did you mean when you sang that song? Just what I said. It's funny. I never heard a guy say anything like that before. Nick never needs anyone, you know? Well, I, I think he needs you. So what's the story with you? I mean, uh, were you really rich before you moved here? <laughs> or is that just another one of Ronnie's famous rulers? Yeah. We were doing all right. Then my father lost his business. Are you gonna go back there? I mean, to college and stuff? No, I wasn't planning on it. What about you? Are you gonna go for the scholastic gold? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'd be lucky if I graduate. No, I'll probably just get married. You don't need college for that. Parents happy about that? My dad is. My mom died of cancer last year. Sorry. So, feel like dancing? <laughs> yeah, I feel like dancing. Ladies, please, gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and hold on to your bobby socks. The Club 60s is proud to present the toughest band on the turf or in the surf. Those soul generators, those rock innovators, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack.
get out of this room. We'll see you in a second. You said, don't, don't you, don't you lie to me, okay? Just don't. I'm not lie. lying to you. And if you ever touch me like that again, Nick, I swear, I you mean, wish to God you never set eyes on me. You got it? You got it? Good. Damn it. I said, I'm sorry. This makes me a little crazy. I mean, what do you think I felt knowing I was this jerk off? Well, don't take it out on me, all right? I know, I know. I said, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. I really look missed you. you. Hi. When you can't look at me. Come here. Don't say that. You're not gonna kiss me now? Hmm? Frank, come on. Nick, put me down, all right? Now what's the matter? Don't be so rough. I thought you liked it rough. Look, we don't do it until I say it's okay, remember? And now it's not okay, all right? Okay. Well, not now. What are you doing? Turn it up. This is a classic tune, huh?
Yes. I thought you were a smart guy. No! Being stupid. And messing around with my property. California real estate law is remarkably similar to Connecticut's. I don't think the test is going to be any problem. Morgan, how I haven't seen him. He's probably out with his friends. Morgan? Morgan? Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. What happened? Same thing that always happens. I screwed up. You want to talk about it? Look, Morgan, I know that this move has been difficult for you. It hasn't been easy for any of us. I'd like to think that if, if you were having problems, you'd come and talk to me about it. And say what, Dad? What? The prodigal son's in trouble again? He can't cut it rich or poor? Come on, Dad, you know, we've been through this. I'm not Brian. You know, I can't live my life like that. All right, knock it off. Just, just cut out that self-pitying crap. I don't want you to be Brian. I want you to be you. All right, so you screwed up. So what? I expect you to make mistakes. That's what life's all about, for God's sake. How else are you going to learn who you are and what you believe in? What do I do right now? Right now, you do what you really want to do. Do whatever it is you, that you know is right, that you believe in, that's all. And feel good about it. Look, son, life isn't a, a problem to be solved. It's a mystery to be lived. So live it. You're a good man. You are, you know. Give yourself a break. Take it easy on yourself. We're going to eat in about a half hour if you want to Where's Morgan? He's lying down. What's the matter? Something wrong? Oh, nothing he can't handle. What's for dinner? New England clam Fabulous, fabulous. And you? Oh, wonderful, darling. No, really, I'd love to make it for some lobster tonight, but we've been having so much of it at home that I'm afraid it's coming out of our ears, you know? <laughs> What's a girl to do? It's like I died.
on his way over. Thanks. No, probably never get laid anyway. Oh, no. Morgan! Hello, Frankie. Turn it off! Turn it off? You can't just turn this off. Listen to it. Not just like it. Please turn it off. Frankie, I thought you wanted more. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. of love, Frankie. Give me a break. Yeah. Morgan, I'm serious. Frankie, what's so unreasonable about knowing me? Nothing. And everything. Morgan, look, you gotta go, okay? Well, I don't wanna go until you explain to me. What's there to explain? I'm here and you're there. We don't fit. You know, all I'm asking for is a shot, Frankie. It's not going to change anything. Good. Good. Chances worth everything, I think. Frankie, get out of here. Now do you see why you have to go? Frankie! I'm coming! Come to my house for dinner tomorrow night. No way! Hey, Frankie! Forget it. Can we get them? All right. Come on! I'll I'm coming! I'll be there. It's for you. Read it. Okay. Yeah. Now go, Morgan. Go, get out of here. I'm coming! God! What are you doing in here? Nothing. Can't a girl have any privacy around here? Yeah. But, uh, not when we want to celebrate. Celebrate? That's right. It's not every night I get asked for my baby's hand. I'm gonna open it. What? Yep. Can you believe this? And he said, yes. I'm so happy, sweetheart. How do you open this stuff? I only wish Mama were here to celebrate with us. <laughs> there we go. Great. Did you do all the work yourself? Yeah, just about. It's tremendous. Yeah? It's really great. It's got your name on it. Cheers. Consolation prize. Consolation? Consolation for what? <laughs> I love this guy. Good attitude, man. Oh, they're not going to get married till after graduation anyway, right? Check it out. What are you talking about? Nick's marrying Frankie. Isn't that what we're talking about? I can't believe it. Where are you going? Morgan! Hey, you want to fight? Hey! Get him, Copper! So, you gonna get a ring? If you do, get it at Woolworths. Susan Ristelli got hers there. It almost looks like the real thing. I saw it. It really it's amazing. does. Amazing. I want to check that. Frankie, I just. I want to talk to you. It's crazy. Romance. Thought you were coming for dinner tonight. I am. Frankie. When, Frankie? After the wedding? Come on. You don't have to be a piece of this turf. Look, I'm not his. I can make my own choices, Morgan. I'll be there. Go easy on him tonight, Paige. This means a lot to him. Mm-hmm. So did that girl he brought home for Easter last year, remember? She was so stoned, all she could do was look at the peas and say, wow, they're so green. <laughs> she was kind of cute. 
No, really, this is different. He's really trying. So am I. I'll get it. Come on in, come on. Oh, I, uh, I brought your book. How'd you like it? It was good. I'm a little crazy. I never met anybody that felt things that way. Yeah. Well, you gonna stand here all night? You know, I think you really would have enjoyed spending time with us in Connecticut, Frankie. There's always so much to do. Our house was right on the sound. Skiing, boating. Morgan was quite a good yachtsman in his own way. <laughs> you were. Don't you think he was better than Brian, David? Mm. I think so. If only he would have put a little heart into it. Of course, none of that matters very much now. I mean, since we've moved. <laughs> a pretty picture. What's with Frankie, man? Get out of here. What? Get out of here, sir. You lived in the Los Angeles area all your life, Frankie? Yeah. I mean, uh, yes, sir, my whole life. Well, then you must have been to the Huntington Gardens, have you? Oh, hey, the roses are absolutely fabulous. I don't think that Frankie goes for things like that very much. She spends most of her spare time reading. Since you've never been there either, maybe we should go together one of these days. You can bring your mother along, we'll make a day of it. I don't mean if she likes roses. Does she? Oh, don't worry about that. It's all right. It's all right. These things happen. You better get into the kitchen and put some cold water on that before it stains. It's all right. Her mother's dead. I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? Let me see. It's road. Yeah, let me... Look, why didn't you just go talk about roses or something, huh? Frankie, she didn't mean anything by it. Right, Morgan. Frankie. Morgan. I'm sorry. Frankie. Frankie. Excuse me. I promised Ronnie I'd meet her at Woolworths to look at wedding rings. Now, Frankie, you don't belong to Nick. Well, maybe not. But I don't belong to you either. Later. 
I gotta go see my girlfriend now. Hi, baby. Where you going? I've been looking all over the place for you. Frank. You're missing your mom again, aren't you? Come here. Come here. Why don't you come with us? Come on. Come on. Take this watch and go ask that cab driver if he'll trade it in for a little change. I gave you this watch, Nick. I mean, don't you have any money? If I did, I wouldn't ask you to trade it. Come on. I can't do it, Nick. I mean, I'd rather walk than try this watch, you know? I mean, oh. I gave it to you, you know? That's nice. But why can't you do it really? Why? Because that's Hiller's father? Huh? 
Is that why? Is that why? Come on, come on, ask your question. Come on! Yes. Yes. Well, maybe you should have thought of all that before you became involved in this. Now go out there. Frankie, I said go out there. No. I said go out there. Now get out there! Oh, you gotta Frank. get out of here. Please listen to me. You gotta go. I don't think you understand. You gotta go. Don't worry, he's very strong. Bad one. Yeah, I know. I can feel it clearing the next week. Want me to stop? No. Oh, sorry. I just keep hearing that that gun go off over and over again. It hurts so bad. How do you deal with it? I don't know. I don't. You know, I just... keep exploding. <laughs> Wreaking havoc on everyone's lives. Uh, I, uh... 
thought things were supposed to be easy when you had money. Yeah, if you don't take it seriously. How do you do that? By letting it go. I don't think you can hold on to anything until you let it go. Honey, I understand. Of course I am. Uh, just want you to be happy. It's just that I thought you and Nick... Uh... Nick what? Nick what? Nick what? Nick what? Nick what? You bitch! You bitch! I saw you! I saw you! Hey, what are you doing? Get off of me! Get off of me! Listen to me. Nobody takes anything that I own. Nobody. I'll kill it first, man. You get that? You'll be at the warehouse in 20 minutes. You got that? Morgan? I want to talk to you. How's Dad? He's a little bit better. I asked about you. Now. Are you going to tell me what kind of trouble you're in before the police get here? Hmm? It's nothing I can't handle. I am just trying to... Morgan, don't walk away from me! Are you what, Brad? Huh? Well, why don't you tell me what a waste my life is, huh? Or, or give me a lecture on the rules of the game? Well, I hate to tell you, big brother, but the rules have changed a little. You leave this house, I'll have you picked up within 24 hours. Great, I can use all the help I can get tonight. the hell out of my way, Brian.
Chico, say pot. Jimmy Over here. here. Jimmy here. No. Do you know where he is? Hey, <laughs> yeah. Probably out with Ronnie getting his chain pulled. <laughs> you see him giving this one. Donnie, all right? Yeah, yeah. What is this, your will? Nick, this is bullshit, man. How much longer are we gonna have to wait? Shut up, asshole! I swear to God, I'll kill you if you mess this up, Nick. Yeah? No one says a word, you got that? Bernie, go back to where I told you, right? Come on, little puppy dog. Come on, puppy, sit. Sit. Sit down. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl. Get that faggot!
you. He didn't do it for me. It's your whole life. How many bullets are left, huh, Nick? Enough for Morgan? My come father? On. Come on. Frankie, come on. No. For anyone who isn't part of your what turf? Are you doing? Come, on. come on. How many? Huh?
Tell her, I want to talk to her, man, all right? Oh, JB, 